New at 6, the FBI urging parents to download an app they say can help if your child goes missing. John Franke shows us how it can help in a moment of crisis. Good morning, John. Yeah, good morning, guys. You know, back to school raises our awareness about child safety, but the FBI here in Salt Lake says that awareness should be heightened all year round. And one tool for parents to use is the Child ID app. It's only a tool for the parents to store the information so that they're prepared. You never want to prepare for the worst, but you don't want to be unprepared if that day should ever come. This is the app the FBI is encouraging all parents to use. It's called Child ID. It's also a place where parents can store photographs and other vital information about their children. So here's how the app works. First, take a photo of your child. When that clearly shows their face, a full body shot can also be useful. Then enter in vital information like height, weight, hair color, eye color. Then hit save and put the app away. Hopefully you never have to use it, but if your child should ever go missing, all you have to do is hit send to get that info quickly to authorities. Is there again at your fingertips in the event that something happens and you need the police to know about it and have that information about your children? David Crawford, assistant special agent in charge at the Salt Lake office, recommends updating the photo and info every six months. Children's faces and identity, the way that they look, can change frequently. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children received more than 17,000 reports of child sex trafficking in 2021. Special Agent Crawford is urging all parents to be vigilant and never delay calling 911 if something doesn't seem right. The closer in time that we are to an event occurring, that we're notified, the better off we are in terms of the investigation. So the FBI says an even greater issue than missing children is online sexual exploitation. The best advice, if you think your child is a victim, of course, report it to the cyber tip line. It's just the worst thing to think about. You know, old school, we made little cards for our kids, you know, that had their picture and all their vital information. Right. And just even creating those at the school made me sick. Right. Just to think about the possibilities and what this would be used for if we ever needed it. And it's sad that we have to be prepared, but again, yeah. we have to be prepared. I can see how it takes it away the, the helplessness feeling, being able to actually enter that information and do something proactive. Right. So I can I can see how that would be beneficial. Yeah. But as you mentioned, At a time not a good you're feeling. Just sick. Right. Yeah. <sighs> Thanks, John. Thank you.